ती खरेच अजाभरीत असत दोनशे बारा पानाच्या ह्या पुस्तकात लालित्य असा साधे सोपेपण असा तसेच समाजशास्त्री विज्ञानिक आणि सांस्कृतिक नदर असा ताका लागून पुस्तक पुराय पुराय वाचले बगर हातातल्या सकल दवरचे असे दिसला भारतीय संस्कृतीत जेवणा सामाजिक सांस्कृतिक धार्मिक नदरेतल्या खूप महत्व असा आमची सामाजिक बैठक घटमुट करपाचे काम जेवण करता आमचे सांडप वचपी दायज आणि आधुनिकतेक लागून ना जायत वचपी जेवणा संदर्भातली विविधता हाचे विषयी डॉक्टर बिवलाच्या मनात एक दुःख वेदना असा म्हणून तिच्या वावराक एक आंतरिक तळमळ दिसता ती आपल्या प्रस्तावनेत म्हणता दिस बुक इज अन अटेम्प्ट टू डॉक्युमेंट द फूड अँड फूड रिलेटेड ट्रेडिशन्स ऑफ गोवा बिफोर दिस रिच हेरिटेज इज लॉस्ट फॉर एव गोंच्या संदर्भातल्या असलं वावर खंयच्याच भाषेत जाऊंक ना हे ह्या पुस्तकाचे सगळ्यात वड खाशेलेपण ताका लागून हाव डॉक्टर बिवला पेरेरा आणि त्याच वांगडा सिनामेंटियल डिझाईन आणि पब्लिशिंग पब्लिशिंग ह्या प्रकाशकाक मना काळजा थान परबी भेटयता सुरुवातीच्या पहिल्या भागात भारत आणि जेवणा संदर्भातली इतिहासिक पाळामुळे डॉक्टर बिवला भो फिशालकायेन सोदून बऱ्या विस्तारान आमच्या मुखार दोवरता भारतात इतिहासिक काळापासून जेवणाकडे संबंधित सामाजिक धार्मिक आणि वखदी धागेदोरे मेळतात भारतात खंयच्याय ल्हान मोठ्या धार्मिक उत्सवात जेवण मध्यवर्ती आणि मुखेल असतं त्याच वांगडा शिवराक जेवणाची पद्धत केन्नाच्यान सुरू झाली हाची परिपूर्ण माहिती आमकां ह्या पुस्तकात मेळटा वेगवेगळ्या राजवटी उपरांत जेवण खाणात जे बारीक मोठे बदल घडून आयले ताचेरही ती लक्ष उरता पोर्तुगीज येवचे पहिली आणि उपरांतचे जेवण ह्या संदर्भात बरंच प्रभावी आणि चिकित्सक अभ्यास ह्या पुस्तकात आसपावला पोर्तुगीज जेवणात जे तरेन विना वायनाचो वापर जाता ताका पर्याय म्हण विनागरीचा वापर क्रिस्तांव जेवणात जाता तर गोंयच्या रांदचे कुडीत गोंयच्या हिंदू रांदचे कुडीत विनाग्र वापरप अजिबात जायना असे बिवलाचे संशोधन सांगता मुखार ती म्हणता पोर्तुगीज येतकच गोंयच्या जेवण खाणाच्या पद्धतीत नदरे सारखे नदरेत भर सारखे बदल दिसतात गोंयची आदली जेवण संस्कृताय कोसळून क्रिस्तांवा मधी एक नवी जेवण संस्कृताय जल्माक आयली जेवण खाणात सुधारणा वांगडाच आकांताळे बदल झाले नव्या जेवणाचे जिनस आसपाव घेवप झाले बीफ आणि पोर्क नव क्रिस्तांवाच्या खाण जेवण शैलीचे भाग झाले आणि नवीन जीवन शैलीचे प्रतीक झाले खरे म्हणल्यास आमच्या गोंयच्या इतिहासातलो सगळ्यात नाजूक हळवो असो भाग ताका संयमशील रितीन मांडना झाल्यास आकांत जाऊ येता पण डॉक्टर बिवला इतल्या अभ्यासपूर रितीन ते मांडता हाची तोखणाय दिसता ते मांडताना ती सतराव्या शेकड्यातले इतिहासिक पुरावे दिता नो फिस्ट मील वॉज कम्प्लीट विदाउट पोर्क इन ओल्ड कॉन्क्वेस्ट एरिया त्याच वांगडा न्यू कॉन्क्वेस्ट आणि ओल्ड कॉन्क्वेस्टातले क्रिस्तांव कुणबी मास खायनासले चड करून पोर्क आणि बीफ आणि आपल्या आदल्या रिती चालीक पाळो दिताले हे ती सांगता जेवणा संदर्भात नवीन धान्याची पूजा करपाची रिती चाली गोयात चलतात ताचो बारीकसाणीन केलो अभ्यास या पुस्तकात मेळटा गोयात काय रिती चाली व्यक्तिगत आणि सामाजिक थरात चलतात ऑगस्टाच्या सात तारखेर सांता क्रुजचे गांवकरी सान फ्रान्सिस झेवियराचा आशीर्वाद आणि संरक्षण मागपा खातीर सान फ्रान्सिस्का मीस भेटयतात त्या वेळार पाटलो भर उंडे काकणा आणि एक भाताचो साक भेटोवपाची परंपरा असा आशीर्वादान पवित्र जाल्ले उंडे लोका भीतर वाटपाची रीत असा तांदुळी गरिबा भीतर वाटतात असल्या ल्हान ल्हान रिती चालीतल्यान आमच्या गोंया गांवच्या लोकांची गरिबा विशी आशिल्ली संवेदनशीलता समाजिक समर्पण दिसता पंधरा पंधरा ऑगस्टाक जावपी कणसाचे फेस्त हे भरभरून पीक दिवपी त्या दैवी शक्तीक आर्गा दिवपी फेस्त पाद्रीन पिकावळीक आशीर्वाद दितकच घरा घरात पातोळे करतात नव्या कणसाचे कण घालून सान्ना करतात सगळ्या फेस्ताक तांदूळ मुखेल असता जो फोव सान्ना पातोळ्यो हाच्या रूपान खावप जाता 
हातुतल्यान दिवला बाय आमच्या गावच्या समाज बांधणे कडेन आमच्या गोयच्या ग्रेस्त सांस्कृतिक जिणे कडेन आमचं लक्ष उरता भरभरून पिकिल्ले पीक ही फक्त व्यक्तिगत मालकी असना तर ताचे फाटल्यान एक दैवी शक्ती आपल्या आजूबाजूचे लोक सगळे समान वाटेकरी असतात पिकीच्या वेळार जावपी वेगवेगळ्या रीती चालीची खूप खोलायेन सामके भीतर वचून अशी माहिती ह्या पुस्तकात आसपावल्या जसे कालापुरात नाल्लाचो रोस आणि गांवठी भेंडे घालून कालदीन करतात मेरशे माडाचे गोड आणि नव्या कणसाचे दाणे घालून फो करतात तर काय कडे पातोळ्यो खोले मांदोस पुढे धोण पिनाग्र गोड सान्ना दोदोल दोस आटोल मुठल्यो लाटोड आले बेले सोजी वन्न करप जाता ह्या पुस्तकाचे रूपान कोकणी भाषेतही डॉक्टर बिवला खूप मोलादीक भर घालता जेवणा संदर्भाची विसरायर पडिल्ली काय उतरावळ आणि काय म्हणण्यो ती भोव तकालस घेऊन सोदून काढटा गोयच्या हिंदू क्रिस्तावाच्या जिणेतले लागसारपण हिंदू आणि क्रिस्तांव ह्यांच्या दोघांच्या जे जिणेतले जे लागसारपण असा समांतरपण असा ते ती सोदता आणि कळत ना कळत आमची समाजिक बुनियाद घट मुट करता हिंदू मधी पिकेचे उत्सव मनीतना नवधान्याची पूजा करप नाल्लाची पड पाना विडवपप जाता बाळी गावात धान्याचो चोरू करून देवा ओपपाची पद्धत दिसता आणि हे शिजिल्ले अन्न करमलाच्या पानार वांगड्यार दिता डॉक्टर बिवलाचो हो संशोधनात्मक अभ्यास गोयच्या गावच्या सैमसिद्ध सैमाची आपल्या पिकेची पूजा करपी गावच्या भोळ्या नेणार लोकांची खबर आमकां सांगता सगळे जे कि शेतात पिकता ताचे फाटल्यान एक दैवी अशी प्रेरणा असता गावचो दर एक मनीस असा हो विचार असा आणि हो पिकावळीचो उत्सव पुराय गाव एकवटीत जाऊन मनयता चौथ्या भागात डॉक्टर बिवला जेवण खाणाची जी देवाण घेवण सामाजिक स्तरार जाता ताचेर लक्ष ती आमचे ओडटा वजे धाडपाची पद्धत गोयात आसा चड करून वजे कुळारच्यान चडशे धाडटात हांगा वजाची प्रथा तातूंत आसपावपी जिनस वस्ती हाचेर डॉक्टर बिवला खोलायेन चिंतन करता जसे हिंदू मदी एकादशीचे वजे चवथीचे वजे दिवाळीचे वडाफन मिळचे पाच परतनाचे दिवजाचे दिवका असे वेगवेगळे जे वजी आसा ताचो खूप खोलायेन असो अभ्यास ह्या पुस्तकात आमकां मेळटा ह्या वजा फाटल्यान सामाजिक कुटुंबिक संबंध घट करप ही मुखेल संकल्पना आसा तसो असो तिचो अभ्यास सांगता पहिलीच सांगिल्ले भाषेन बिवला बाय ह्या पुस्तकात गोयचो क्रिस्तांव आणि हिंदू हाचे मधले सांस्कृतिक पारंपारिक समांतर दायजाचे धागे दोरे सोदून काढटा हे खूप महत्वाचे क्रिस्तांवा भीतर वजाची परंपरा दिसता कुळारच्यान क्रिस्तांव वकल आपोण्या बशी वा दोशीची बशी ह्या नावान वजे व्हरता जे न्हवऱ्याल्या घरा सोयऱ्याक आणि शेजाऱ्याक वाटप जाय मामा कडच्यान विनागरीचे वजे वकल न्हवऱ्याक दितात सांजावाक फळां आणि पातोळ्यो हाचे वजे वकलेच्या कुळारच्यान येतात नात्याला कुसवारचे वजे कुसवाऱ्याचे वजे एकमेका भितर वाटप जाता आणि हे वजे दर एकट्यान करूकच जाय असो नेम असा ह्या संदर्भात एक सांगणी घोळटा ती म्हणल्यार कायलीत नेवऱ्यो सोडपूच क्रिस्तांवाच्या मदी मरण जाल्या घरात घरात मरण जाल्या घरात शेजाऱ्यान कुसवार धाडूकच जाय असो नेम असा आणि ह्या नेमाक लोक पाळो दितात गोयच्या लोकाले प्राकृतिक प्रे प्रेम संवेदनशीलता हाचेरही डॉक्टर बिवला बरो खोलायेन वचून म्हणटकच ह्या पुस्तकात आमकां वेगवेगळ्या थराचेर वचून तिणे जेवणा खाणा संदर्भातल्यान अभ्यास खूप खोलायेत वचून केल्लो दिसता गोयच्या पारंपारीक जेवणात तांदूळ नाल्ल आजूबाजून जावपी भाजी हाचो प्रचंड प्रमाणात वापर जाता कांय वाठारात प्राणी पाळीव प्राण्या विशीं आशिल्ली संवेदनशीलता दिसता शांतादुर्गा बाळी बाळी करणिल्या वाठारात मटन रांदप ना असो नेम असा बाळीच्या फडे वाढार जय जे वेळी चड रावतात थंय कोंबडी रांदप अमान्य असा वेर्णा आणि बाणावली गावात वर्सातल्यान एक फावट पारंपारिक रिती रिवाजान मशगाची भाजी सांगो खावप सक्तीचे असा म्हणजे समाजातल्यान हे नेम जे असतात ते लोक सामके पाळटात 
चडश्या गांवांनी जमनीर पडिल्ल्या फुला फळाचेर वायट शक्ती घुविल्ली आसा अशे समजून ते खावप टाळतात म्हणजे ज्यो बारीक बारीक गजाली ज्यो आसात ज्यो खरे म्हळ्यार अभ्यासात आणि संशोधनात निसटून वतात त्यो गजाली ती सामकी जुस्त अशी धरता आणि आपल्या पुस्तकात ताचो अभ्यास करता सांजे उपरांत कोणाकूय तांदूळ दिले तर ते दितल्याचे नशीब घेऊन वता अशी म्हणणी आसा पयलीच्या काळात कोणाकूय दिवचे पडले जाल्यार तांदळा वांगडा एक गरम धगधगीत कोळसो दिवप हे जाताले नुस्त्याच्या पारंपारीक जन जिन्साचेर पदार्थाचेर डॉक्टर बिवला आमकां सांगता आनी मुखार म्हणटा की हिंदू जेवणात खूप विविध विविधता दिसता जेवणा संदर्भातली काय अंधश्रद्धा ही हो फिशालकायेन मांडटा कुवाळे कुवाळे जे आसा ते फक्त दादल्यानूच कातरप कातरचे पयली तिका हळद पिंदर लावप तशेंच कुवाळ्याची वाल म्हणजे घरात आंगणात थंय कुवाळ्याची वाल लाय लायल्यार घरवडीक भुरगे जावचे ना म्हणजे भुरगे जावचे ना कुवाळ्याची वाल रोयल्यार अशे नेम अंधश्रद्धा आमकां मेळटा घरावेलो दुदी जो आसा तो जमनी धाडावनूच फोडप म्हणजे तो अशे हाजेन फोडप ना तो जमनी धाडावन फोडप अशे काय अंधश्रद्धा ती सामकी जिस्त अशी वेचून काडटा क्रिस्तांव काजारातले जेवण विधी हाचेरूय तिणे खूप खोल अशे चिंतन केला रोशिया माटो हिंदू आणि क्रिस्तांव दोघा मदी घालप जाता भिकऱ्या जेवणाक सांबराची कडी भेंड्याची सुंगटा घालून केल्ली कडी हाड मास बीफ आसात घरावेल्या दुद दुदयाची भाजी सोजी वन्न चान्ना स्वरपातेल सॉसेज हे सगळे मुखेल असता अशी ती म्हणता लग्ना पहिली भिकऱ्या जेवणाची तयारी करताना दुदयाचेर पय ती मार वा दुदयाचेर पय ती मारूक जाय अशी सांकेतिक रितीन म्हणून तयारी सुरू करता असताना म्हणतात पूण कोय ती विधवा बायलेन मारूक जायना असोय संकेत मेळटा भिकऱ्या जेवणाक मेळल्या लोकांल्या वया प्रमाण लोकांक आपोवप जाता आणि ताणे मागणे करूंक जाय असे अपेक्षित असता काळा काळा प्रमाण आयज ह्या जेवणाक घरच्या जेवण असे नामकरण केल्ले दिसता असे ती म्हणटा जरी हिंदू भर धार्मिक धार्मिक सण परबेक मास निश्चित आसले तरी काय धार्मिक कृत्या वेळार मास महत्वाचे असतात बाळीच्या गोसाय समाजात भुरग्याचे कानाचे पाळयो कात्रप जाता ताचे पयली भुरग्याक माडाच्या फेणीचे थेंबे थेंबे पिवयतात त्या वेळार गांवठी कोंब मारतात ह्या ह्या मासाची सय घालून किसमूर करतात देवाकडे केल्ले मागणे पावोपाक गावात सामाजिक सगळ्याल्या हिताची कामां सार्थकी व्हरपाक सामूहिक जेवणाची सामूहिक जेवणाचे तिने भरपूर असा अभ्यास केल्लो आमकां दिसले पडटा म्हणटकच देवळातली देवळात जी सामूहिक जेवणां जातात ताचे ताचोय तिने बरो अभ्यास केला मायणा कुडतरी हांडीतलो खुर्सा मुखार बांध घालपाचे सामूहिक काम जाता मागणे सॉरी मागणे म्हणटकच कोणेच वायट उतर उलोवंक जायना मागणे करतकच पयलीच्या काळार जाग्या वयल्या फेणयेचो खुरीस करून ताका शांत शांत करप जाताले मुखेल्या कडेन म्हाका एक चुट्टी मोड म्हळ्यार म्हजे कधी मागणे कर अशे म्हणून लोक मुखेल्या कडेन मागतात म्हणटकच सांकेतिक रितीन मागप सुद्धा कशेच देवा कडे मागता असताना सांकेतिक रितीन मागप म्हाका एक चुट्टी मोड असे ते म्हणतात उपरांत सामूहिक जेवण जाता ह्या जेवणात आटोल नावाचा जो प्रकार असा तो मुखेल असता ह्या जेवणात हांडी खुर्सा पाया कडचे जेवण असे म्हणतात तसेच शिरदावचे पेजेचे फेस्त आंगवणी पेज हाचेरूय बरो अभ्यास ह्या पुस्तकात झाला तिसवाडी तळावळीचे सेंट एनीचे तवशा फेस्त जय तवशे उडीद दाळ चुडो नाल्लाचे कट्टे आशिल्ले दवले हे दिवप जाता मरणा वेळावेल्या गोंयच्या क्रिस्तांव हिंदू मधल्या जेवण पद्धतीचे तिने खूप बरो अभ्यास केला हिंदू भितर मरणा वेळार उपरांत तिकट मचमचीत जेवणाक मनाय आसता हिंदू भितर मेल्ल्या आंग हुलपता अशी एक सांगणी वा उलोवप जाता असं म्हणतात तर क्रिस्तांवा भितर मरण पवित्र मानतात मरण घरात आसतनाच रांदप जेवप जाता कांय कडेन शेजारी भाजी रांदून हाडटात ऑल सोल्स डे एक पत्र पत्रावळ मेल्ल्या खातीर घराच्या पाख्यार दवरप जाताले पूण चर्चीन बंदी आडिल्ल्या कारणान काय पोरण्यो प्रथा पुरायेन बंद पडल्यात अशे डॉक्टर बिवला सांगता तेन्ना तिची संशोधित तिचे भितरलो संशोधक आणि सोशियोलॉजिस्ट तिका हाचे तिका दुःख जाता की काय परंपरा ज्यो आसात त्यो काय काळा काळाप्रमाणे बंद पडल्या हाचे तिका दुःख आमकां त्या पुस्तकात जाणवता 
गोयचे सामूहिक जेवणाचे देवळातल्या महाप्रसादाचे खूप बरो अभ्यास म्हणजे सगळ्याच रीतीन हे पुस्तक परिपूर्ण असं असे म्हाका दिसता खरे म्हणजे या पुस्तकाचे खरे खूप उलोवंक जाता पण खंची काणी पुराय सांगूक जायना क्युरियोसिटी उमळशीक वाटता तितलीच ती सांगून अर्धकुटी दवरूक जाय म्हणटकच तुमच्या मनात हे पुस्तक पुराय वाचपाची तळमळ वाटतली तिने आपल्या फूड अँड आयडेंटिटी हातूत केल्लो अभ्यास गोयच्या जेवण संस्कृतीचे एक भांगराळे पान उक्ते करता हे पुस्तक खूप लोकां मेरेन पावूंक जाय कोकणी भाषेतूय ते येऊंक जाय आणि गोय म्हणजे फक्त दर्यावळ आणि नुस्ते इतलेच न्हय तर गोय म्हणजे भारतीय संस्कृतायचे गडगंज दायज हे सगळ्या कळूंक जाय देव बरें Thank you, Associate Professor Sale, for your insightful introduction to the book. Our second speaker is Dr. Fatima Da Silva E. Gracious. Dr. Gracious is a renowned Indo-Portuguese academic and historian from Goa. She has authored eight books on a wide range of topics. Among the books written by her is the noted Cuisine de Goa, History and Tradition of Goan Food. She has written several research papers on diverse topics including food for publications and conferences held in India, Portugal, Brazil, Germany, France, Canada, Sri Lanka and Mozambique. Dr. Fatima Gracious is a convener of the Goa State Chapter of the Indian National Trust for Art and Cultural Heritage. Dr. Gracious will now delineate the ideas presented in Food and Identity a journey of goa's food customs to the audience good afternoon mr anand radhav chief guest of today's function and the deputy conservator of forests uh miss uh, jayashri singh author of the book dr bruno pereira principal falero of pilar college uh, father frederick vice principal uh, ladies and gentlemen it's my pleasure and honor to be here to at the launch of dr bula cruz pereira book food and identity a journey of goa's food uh, customs my warm congratulations to bula on this occasion food is the world most important subject it is what matters most for to most people for variety of reasons today food is popular topic discussed in various forums both academic and non academic a topic discussed at conferences uh, seminar meetings restaurant launches and so on food history remain unappreciated for a very long time cuisine and recipes were not topics discussed at uh, academic and social circles not even at the dining table it was a topic relegated to the kitchen in the past few serious scholars studied food food means different things to different people and they see it in different ways to some people it's all about nutrition the eco- uh, the economy sees it as a commodity to be produced and traded for social historian it is an index of differentiation and changing class relations cultural researchers are Im- immensely interested in how food nourishes societies as well as individual how it feeds identities and defined groups academia today accepts the study of culinary history into its rank but the subject is still new and there is much to be done nevertheless more and more information is slowly emerging about people's food customs which will give us a complete picture of what people eat and used to eat food is not only essential for our living it encompasses much more it has been responsible for what is happening in the world today the ongoing U- ukraine war for instance 
conquest, building of empires, revolution, building of armies, immigration, slavery, accumulation of wealth, status symbols, and in some places, food as condiment became the lifeblood of prosperity. European merchants amassed wealth from their trade in food. From Malacca to Marseilles, merchants built fabulous fortunes with their spice trade. Rulers in Cairo and in Calicut in, in Kerala built their armies from their cart in spice trade. Lisbon, London, Antwerp, Genoa, Constantinople, Mecca, Amsterdam, and Jakarta could attribute much of their wealth um, for, uh, to their trade in spice. As we all know, one of the reasons why the Portuguese and the English came to, to India and the Dutch went to the East Indies was looking for food, for condiment. African rulers and traders exchanged human beings for food, such as maize and manioc. In early period, it led to immigration, say from India to Guyana. The Europeans, especially the Portuguese, in their ships of Carrera de India and other private ships carried with them plants, roots, luscious fruits, uh, or, uh, and on their, uh, such as tomatoes, potatoes, chilies, cashews, and so on. And in their return journey, carried back spices, fruits like mangoes and coconut, oil, and other foodstuff. The, then the Portuguese and the land they influenced left culinary footprints in the former colony. Rulers, traders, Kazakh population, Portuguese women, slaves, all played diverse roles in introducing new food, knowledge about food, and recipes in goal. Food is a marker of identity that brings communities together. Food brought the colonizer and the colonized closer. For instance, in Goa, due to Portuguese influence, Goa cuisine have gone through a series of assimilation and westernization. Fruit, vegetables, herbs from across the world revolutionized our cuisine and added flavor. Conversion brought about changes of way of life of people, including food. At the same time, food also created a gap between communities. As for instance, in Goa, food created a gap between the Hindus and the, Mus and the Christians. Before the arrival of the Portuguese in Goa, people, uh, food of the people was more or less uniform. They all ate the same type of food. But the Portuguese rule created a gap between Hindus and the Christian on conversion. Meat became a part, pork and beef became a part of the Christian cuisine. Different measures and decrees were introduced to bring about changes and to discard old ones. The book that is be, uh, that's being launched today, Food and Identity, A Journey of Goa's Food Customs by Dr. Beulah Pereira is an interesting and useful book in which she provides a great deal of information on food custom of Goans. Dr. Bula has put out great efforts to collect, to analyze, and to document numerous customs and food traditions in Goa, and mainly in the four villages she has selected for her study. Villages situated in different parts of Goa, having different influences along their history, and having certain customs which are different from each other. The villages Dr. Bula picked up are Verna and Benauli in South Sede, in South Goa. They belong to the uh, old conquered territories, the territories that were conquered by the Portuguese in the early centuries of their rule, and has more Western influence as far as food is concerned. In her book, Dr. Bula makes also an attempt to show how despite being predominantly Christian villages, these two villages, Perna and Benauli, the Hindus in these places try to maintain their own food habits and cultural identity. The other two villages selected by Bula uh, are Shiroda in Ponda and Bali in Kepe. 
conquered by the Portuguese at much later date. Uh, <clears throat> their Western influence is not less noticeable in food. During her field work, Dr. Beulah met a variety of people from villages she, she selected, housewife, elders, leaders of the community, priests of temple and churches. The collected information was analyzed to show it has contributed to their identity. To quote Beulah, this book is an attempt to document the food and food-related traditions before this rich heritage is lost forever. Based on intensive research and field work across four carefully selected villages of Goa, this book documents the first socio-anthropological study of its kind to empirically inquire into the traditional food habits of Goa and how they have changed over time. Unquote. Further, she adds, the information collected and reflected in this book range from pre-liberation food habits in Goa, the social function of food to the place of fish, curry, rice in Goan culture. Readers will be fascinated to discover the integral connection of food with social identity and, it, uh, and will also find a treasure trove of information on food that can be used for future research studies. The book, Food and Identity, contains information on customs related to food, some of which was unknown to us. Food is part of practically every celebration ceremony in Goa and other parts of India. Gifting of food is not only done to God, but it is also done to relatives and friends. Parents of married daughters send baskets of food to the house of the son-in-law for uh, on festive occasions to maintain good relations, uh, good relation. In her book, Dr. Bueller tells us about various festivals observed in Goa and particularly in the four villages she has selected for her study and different food and different food offered on such occasions. In the month of August, various villages of Goa celebrate the harvest festival. It marks the beginning of harvest season and, where, and when people pray for bountiful harvest. It is also a festival of Thanksgiving. This festival begins in all early August and one of the first festival uh, is the one held uh, in the village of Raya on 5th August when the parish priest goes to the fields, cuts the sheaves of paddy, brings it to the church, blesses, distributes, and then sends it to the Kumni Dutch of Raya, Margaon, and to the church of Rasha and the Holy Spirit. Similar festival is also observed in the village of Bali among the, among the Hindus. In the month of August, this month of August, Hindus observe Shravan, where different kinds of food is prepared, vegetarian food, offered to God and eaten by the people. Beulah has given us detailed information about food practices of Hindus and Christians in times of Chaturthi, Diwali, and Christmas, as well as milestones in people's life. The book includes quotidian of Goa, Goan life, the worship of spirits, ancestors, and practices followed. Food and identity, a journey of Goa's food custom, has a preface, introduction, and 16 chapters, and a very useful, detailed glossary of Konkani words translated into English. The book tells us also, us also environmental impact of on food in Goa, food preservation for the monsoons, traditional cooking equipment, differences in Hindu and Christian food preparation, festival food, and food cooked for social occasions. An entire chapter is dedicated to community food served on various festive occasions by the temples, individual, and temple committees especially in the two temples from the villages she has selected, the Kamakshi Temple of Shiroda and Shantadurga Temple at Bali. These 
brought the communities together. Beulah also writes about food cooked and served to appease God for good health, fertility, the smooth functioning of family affairs, and so on. The last chapter is all about change and continuity. Goa has undergone tremendous changes in the last few decades in every walk of life, including culinary art. The traditional food and the cooking <coughs> methods and the use of ingredients too have gone through changes. The traditional meals of rice, curry, and fish, says Beulah, is no longer a must among the Christians. Refrigeration, uh, people have found easy substitutes like noodles, pizzas, and chapati. Refrigeration of food has become popular. There is globalization of food, and new cuisine and recipes have found their way in Goan cuisine due to in-migration, out-migration, and greater contact with outside world. The book, Food and Identity, has useful information worth reading, especially by those interest, interested on food, subject of food. Thank you, Beulah, for inviting me to speak here today. I wish you all the best and more achievements in writing of books as well as in your teaching career. Thank you for your patience. Thank you, Dr. Gracious, for your enlightening words. Our chief guest for today's book launch is Mr. Anand Jadav. Mr. Anand Jadav is the Deputy Conservator of Forests at the Forest Department, Altin Goa. Mr. Jadav holds an MSc degree in Agriculture as well as Forestry. During his tenure as Assistant Conservator of Forests from 2014 to 2018, he was actively involved in the conservation of biodiversity at the Netravali and Kotigao Wildlife Sanctuaries. In a major initiative for wildlife conservation, Mr. Jadav was actively involved in the acquisition of land and beach area for the Turtle Conservation Reserve at Galjibag in Kankon. During 2018 to 2020, he was instrumental in creating a forest protection squad in North Goa to curb smuggling and wildlife poaching. Currently, Mr. Jadav is actively contributing to policy advocacy related to forest and wildlife conservation. We are extremely grateful to you, Mr. Jadav, for accepting our invitation to be the chief guest for today's book launch. I now request the chief guest, Mr. Anand Jadav, to officially unveil Food and Identity, A Journey of Goa's Food Customs. Let us join in to celebrate this new addition to the body of work that exists as Goan writing with a loud round of applause. Thank you, sir. I now request the chief guest, Mr. Anand Jadav, to, to address the gathering. Very good afternoon to one and all. First and foremost, uh, the presence of uh, illustrious people before me on, on the days, it's very pleasing. I'm a small servant of nature over here. I have got my teacher, but I remind her, I have not been her student, but on the same course college I was studying. That time she was our faculty for Portuguese teaching, but I was learning Hindi that time in the Indian place in 1982. I have got my mentor sitting opposite to me, a celebrated person in horticulture, Miguel is there, Activity, activist Praveen. He might not know me, but I follow him on Facebook and his activities a lot. We have got with the academicians over here, Professor Savio, uh, 
Professor Sen, Father Frederick, and today's author for the day, Dr. Biola. I was associated with this family for the last almost two and a half decades. Uh, and I remember her struggle and this thing for her PhD thesis, One for the Road. The title of her thesis was One for the Road and she has uh, published a book on that. If you see that by the way, uh, One for the Road, Maila Rasta Watasan Ek Kop Mara. And it was on, the, on that cop itself. And how this sorrow was used in our customs, whether it is Hindus or uh, Catholics, she has elaborated each and everything, each and every society, a strata of that particular community, or whether it is a higher class, middle class, lower class, and she has done almost a splendorous job for the, her thesis, and she has come up with a beautiful book. This is the second feather she's putting it on in her, uh, in her head, and which comes on a different day. You remember that the best part of uh, this is that, who is the best teacher for you? Can anybody tell me? I'll ask this my Rajan Rani. Who's the best teacher? Who's the best teacher? The best teacher I say is she's a mother. First teacher and she's the best teacher. She's a friend, everything she's a. And in this Dr. Biola and all the ladies who are authors, she's a uh, literate, all are historians and they, they are first of all their first mothers and then their best teachers also. So being a mother, and that too in a mother tongue, and that too in a for motherland of Goa, and she has come up with an uh, with a uh, documentation of the food habits. Mana jawna chhe ra amjita poreta ni, manta kokni ni mana sa. Chetakle nu vatsana the potan poili vata, potan gela oprante sagra sharira pao ta. Pota kalan sagri amje sagra tayar jata. Tashat tane Dr. Biolani. Survatik Purvala Pustaka chair, Kidiasa, Kidena, Thorkan, Vistari, Sagrani, Thorapar Kidak Sanglasa, Pon Tatun Tatun of Words or Wulos on Atatun. Maka striking Kid and this land, the Pustakan, and Kidak Lagun Purupaza, the Pustakarin, Poetas and Dushikonami Kida Durupaza, the Makatunga Sampasta. Kaskurun, Jepon Nasisha Virasa, Tankato, and Wolf Salas Tolo. Je Anga. Turun Piraiche Lo Kangasa, Tanka and Gurjasa. Wata Wata, Doctor Fatiman, Sangilene. Ice Kalja Amcha, Fatla Ekunishe, Kano and World Trade Acha Upranje, Towers Allah, Jug Amcha Pangade Paula, J Information System Amchagana Isla, Amcha Mobile Acher, Ami Kiden Kuzin Kurta, Swigi Amcha Daran Pauta, Jejavan Purvuris Alna the Karan, Tunkaponchi Charisman Tan Pauta, Pantatun Kidens Alessa. Tatun. Society flourishes, development is all about the same thing. But it is slowly, 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 Never, never, never. Shambaratle do na stale dashe. Shambaratle do na stale. Oh, yeh pustak jaisa, yeh book jaisa. Te tum ka savistar jay am ka khubar suda na. Itiyas am ka khubar asa. Schoolan shikarle tens itiyas khubar asa. Taja bhailne itiyas ami kena poropa gacha na. Doctor Biulan tajer baro drushti kona gatlo lasa. Am jay itiyas jo poiri jay kide ashilne. जेवणा कावळ किदे आशिल्ली ताजे उपरान पोर्तुगीज आयले उपरान किदे फरक झालो किद्याक लागून झालो कसो झालो आणि खयच्या थराचेर झालो आजेर सविस्तर दिला पर या सगळ्या बरेत असताना जना लेखक जो असता पय आपल्या दुंदिन बरेता म्हणला तांचे काव्य मागे तांची भाषा शैली ही प्रत्येक वेगळी वेगळी असता पण या पुस्तकां जर पळेशे एक चौथीचो भुरगो सुद्धा वाचपाक गेलो नी ताका या सविस्तर सुटसुटी व्हेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टँड थोड़ी शब्द प्रयोग उपयोग जाने भी कहला आपको उन्हें इतने शब्द आसुने किधर आसुने पर ताका ग्लॉसरी दिला फाटलन तुम्हें पढ़ पाओगे मेरा अब खास करों उल्लो मारता सगड़ा लोकांग तारे पुस्तक गैप तुम्हें कि तुम्हें वाचा जरूर पर तुम्हें दूसरे अंकों ही दिया कारण आजेर वो जो एक कलेक्शन आ 
तिणे वेरे एक 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 चॅप्टर आसा तातून तिणे निहाळ केल्लो आसा आधी खंय रांदपा खातीर रगडो आणि पाटो यूज करताले आयज काल कितले जण रगडो यूज करता मिक्सर हॅज टेकन ओवर फॉर दॅट आधी म्हणतात चुलीचेर रांदिल्ले भात उकडिल्ले तेजे सगळे रुचीक लागताले म्हणटाले आयज चूल वचून आयज आमचे कडे गॅस आयलो इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ डेव्हलपमेंट आय डोंट से दॅट म्हाका तातून काय उलोवपाचे ना दी कुझीन सिस्टम जी आशिल्ली जावं ती हिंदू असो किंवा ख्रिश्चन असो पण तिने एक सजेशन आसतले आमचे मयर जे आसा पुर्तुगेजाचे पयली आयिल्ले मयर जे हंगा आसा भामीज आणि मागीर बिजापूरचे जाले पण ते मयर तेन्ना आयिल्ले वे बी अबाउट टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड पय मोजताले ताणे तांच्या वांगडा एक क्रुझीन सिस्टम घेऊन आयिल्ली जे आमचे ओरिजिनल गोयकार मयर आसा पण तांचे कडेन ट्रेडिशनल तेंची फेस्तां जाता गॅरवी म्हणटा चौंग्यास करता तांचे बकरी ईद आणि ताका ताका वेगळं जाला पण कालांतरान तांच्या हितूनही बदल जाल्लो आसा ती बिर्याणी आज आता आता ती बिर्याणी ट्रेडिशनल बिर्याणी वचत आता आता हैदराबाद बिर्याणी जाल्ली आमच्या हितून सुद्धा सान्ना करपाचे शी इज व्हेरी मेटिक्युलसली अबाउट टू डिफरन्शिएटिंग अबाउट वॉट इज अ प्रिपरेशन शी वॉज व्हेरी पर्टिक्युलर टू मेन्शन ऑल्सो दॅट गोवन फूड्स गोवन फूड्स अँड इट्स आयडेंटिटी इन वॉट वे इट इज हिंदून म्हणतात ते अळणी जेवण करप शीत रांधता असताना आम्ही मीठ घालना इतकी बारकायेन जर तो अभ्यास कोण करता आणि त्याचे डॉक्युमेंटेशन करता एन आर एफ पिढी खातीर एन आर एफ पिढी खातीर हे एक अशे डॉक्युमेंट जातले की बाळा फाटल्यान वचून पळयत जाल्यार आम्ही किदे आशिल्ले आमच्या कडे किदे आसले आणि आम्ही किदे वागडायला हे पुस्तक एक समीकरण असतले की ताका तुमकां दिसपाक पळोवपाक मेळटाले की बाब आमचे कडे किदे शी इज मेटिकुलसली सांगता आम्ही म्हणता आता भायर आता तुम्ही बरं च्या पित असताना पहिले गोड सांगना दवरलेली आम्ही जेव्हा सरपतल करता तेव्हा सरपतल रुचीक लागता केन्ना जेव्हा एक सिंपल सान्ना त्याच्या वांगडा एक खावपास मेळ पाव घेणार असताना बेटी सान्ना जर आम्ही सरपतल खाल्ले जाल्यार तिथे सरपतल बरं लागतं हेच जर हिंदू वर्षन वर्षी पळशी जाल्यार त्याच सान्नान आम्ही उडदाची दाळ घालता आणि रातचे फुगयता आमे आमसेता आणि दुसरे दिसा आम्ही इडली करता शी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट अ फेस्टिवल हाऊ फूड इज रिलेटेड टू फेस्टिवल अँड वन फेस्टिवल शी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट हार्वेस्ट फेस्टिवल because i was born i was my most of the my childhood has gone up in the village of taligaon i still relish the festival modes of taligaon konsa je fest manta te kin asta nove jana fa konsa je festa je nove sagla gaavan vatta fa sagla gaavan vatta festa kar taligaon che no gaavkar je ashelle avrio gomish luis viegash it she has documented nawang tene char villages dakhela tatun pan te मांडावळ करता असताना आख्या गोयचे ताणे तेच घातलेले असा थोडे बारकायेन तिणे इतले लक्ष दिल्ले असा खंयच्या वेळी समाजाचो असो गावडा समाजाचो असो क्रिस्तावाचो असो स्टेटड जावं ते ब्राह्मिण्स असो खंयच्या लेवल तांची जेवणावळ पद्धत किती आसा ते सांगूंक खोस भोगता की बाबा जी भाजी पोल तो यूज करता पय ताजेर उलयला तातून दोन्ही म्हाज्या पयलीच्या स्पीकर्सांनी ताजेर उलयला असा वेर्ना आणि बाणावले मुस्काची भाजी श्रावण म्हयन्यान करता सांगपाचं तत्पर्य किती हेतून श्रावण असो म्हयनो असा आमच्या हिंदू कॅलेंडरा प्रमाणे श्रावण इज अ न्यू फ्लश हे टाईम नवी ती बारकायन किद्या लावून म्हणटा हांव कुड्डुकेची भाजी तायकिळ्याची भाजी ही भाजी फक्त श्रावण म्हयन्यानच तुमकां मेळटा आणि ताजो उपयोग हिंदू संस्कृतीन तांच्या जेवणाच्या हितून कशें करता ताजी मांडावळ तिणे केल्ली आसा ती मुस्काच्या भाजे बद्दल उलयता तेका शास्त्र आसा सायन्स आसा हांगा हांव सांगचो ना ते शास्त्र मिंगेल वील बी नोईंग व्हेरी वेल दॅट थिंग सो त्या सिजनान मेळटा ती भाजी पोलो आम्ही माटोळी कितली भरम साठ घालता ह्याचो अद्द उद्देश किती आसा उद्देश काय ना आम्ही देवाक ते अर्पण करता ती बायोडायवर्सिटी आमच्या ज्या आसा आमच्या सैमान जी बायोडायवर्सिटी आसा ती देवाक अर्पण करपाची पद्धत आसा तिणे एक विषय हाताळलो आसा देवसारा खंय जेवण दिल्या उपरांत मेल्ले मेल्ले हेंका देवान जेवण दिल्या ते पावता काय म्हणून हाज्या विषयाचेर तिणे एक बारीक आपले मनोगत व्यक्त केल्ले आसा मेल्ल्या मनशांक आम्ही वाडे करता ताट दाखयता ते कसले आसता कित्याक लागून करपाक जाय ताचे तिणे बारकायेन मांडावळ केल्ली आसा विषय पळोवपाक गेला जाल्यार वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट सोशियो एंथ्रोपॉजिकल स्टडी ऑन फूड अँड हाऊ इट इज इन्फ्लुएन्सिंग द सोसायटी at least in goa i would say many may they might be many over there but at least in goa there is one of the studies with them 
it will be a testimony for most of those those who are above 50s to जस्ट विचार करपा तो पुस्तक वाचा ताजर बरयल्ले जे शब्दावळ आसा ताजर बरयल्ले ते जाण खाणाचे जिन्नसाचे पद्धत आसा ती सगळी ती तुमका रेल्वे जातले आमचे भुरगेपणा अशे काजार झाले की गण येऊप वाड्यार कोणाचे काजार झाले की घरान सगळ्या मागीर आठ दिसा उपरांत घरांनी सगळ्यांगेर आमच्या हितून बॉल वाढताले बरोबर दुसऱ्या विलेजीन दुसरी संस्कृती जाय आमच्या हितून वजे हाडले जाल्यार ते नेवऱ्यो बिऱ्यो किती हाडल्या ते वाढताले हे सगळे करतात हे फक्त पद्धती बद्दल उलयना ते ते उलयता आसताना मागीर हे म्हणटा आणि ते बॉल करता जाल्यार किद्याचे करता हा माडागोड माड खंयच्यान आसा आमचे माड ऑलरेडी गोंयान आसा भरपूर बरें माडागोड एक जालो वो गोडसाण हाडपा खातीर बट बेजीक इनग्रिडियंट किदें आशिल्ले बेजीक इनग्रिडियंट ऑफ दॅट मेजर पोर्शन ऑफ दॅट सो शी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द सा स्टेपल फूड ऑफ गोवा आम्ही आम्ही किती खाता ते आमचे प्रत्येक गोड जाऊन तिखट हातून आम्ही जे किती फूड करतात तातून तांदूळ जाऊ असाच प्लस आमचे सोय खोबरे नाल्ल यूज करता शी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट अ स्मॉल स्वीट विच इज डान ड्युरिंग क्रिसमस टाइम पिनाग्र मेटिकली सांगता या विषयाचे या पिनाग्र वाटपा वाटप जाता म्हणून साष्टी गावातल्यान शी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दॅट ऑल्सो जे शब्द जे स्वीट्स तिकट असो गोड असो ताजेर उदय उलयता भाज्यो ज्यो वापरता वेळीप समाजाचे कस्टम्स किती असा फुडाच्या संदर्भात किती कस्टम्स फॉलो करता म्हणजे चिकन कोण खायना थोडे वेळीप समाजाचे लोक बाळी समाजातून थंय मटन बीन करपाक लायना ही पळ सिझन वायज आम्ही किती कसे बदल जाता आमच्या खानावळात म्हाका एकच सांगून दिसता खोस असे असे असा की बा वजा बद्दल ते उलयला आणि मोर ओव्हर दॅट इम्पॅक्ट एनवायरमेंटल इम्पॅक्ट कसो जाल्लो आसा आम्ही क्लायमेट चेंज ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग हाजेर सगळे फॉरस्ट थराचे खूप व्हडले व्हडले भाषणां जाता शेवटी पोटा सगळे आम्ही जे करता किद्या लागून करता आम्ही जोडपाक वता हे करपाक वता की शेवटी पोट भरपा खातीर ह्या पोटाचेर आमचो इन्फ्लुअन्स एनवायरमेंटल इन्फ्लुअन्स कसो जाल्लो आता ताजेर ते ते उलयता Miguel will agree with me because he is from my fraternity. Atle ta par rana che rana jager kiwa dongran che nashni pako ragi ye laitale. Ais kitli lao pak melta. Ais tumche burgyang vizarat nashni fakto bagaidar che ka paketar tumka goita nashni meldali an ti nashni aila khaychan very little from Goa but most of them coming down from Abgat areas of uh, Karnataka and Maharashtra. Nashni che ambil आज कालच्या कितल्या भुरग्यांनी नाचण्याचे आंबील पिल्ली असा दहा अकरा वरांचेर पेज कितल्या जणांनी खाल्लेले असा भात मळपाक वता असताना भात लायपाक वता असताना घरातली एकटी बाल दनपारचे सकाळचे साडे दहा अकरा वरांचेर पेज घेऊन येताले सगळ्यां खातीर कोण आसा जर क्रिस्तांव आसा जर त्या पेजे वांगडा रातची कडी बीन खातालो तर हिंदू आसा जाल्यार ते मिस्कू लोणचे बीन करतालो शी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट फूड प्रिजर्वेशन ऑल्सो जाऊ ते नुस्तें असो मिस्कूट असो किद खुबशे पळ आम्ही इंडियनाइज कॉलन गोवनीज गोवन टायप करून घेतला सांगपचे म्हणजे दे हॅव स्पोकन अबाउट पोटेटोज टोमेटोज ते उलयला पण हा हॉर्टिकल्चर उलयतलो बिमला करमला जाम जोकमा हे गोयच्या गोयची भय न्ही दीज ऑल वे ब्रॉड डाऊन मेथ पोर्चुगीज ओ या आणि प्रत्येका घराच्या फाटल्यान बिमलाचे असताले करमलाचे झाड असताले आज तुमच्या जेवणात तुम्ही सगळे आमाडो सकट सगळे तुम्ही वापरता आणि इट हॅज बीन इंटिग्रल पार्ट ऑफ गणपतीक नैवेद्य दाखोवपाचो आमाड्याचे करपा हे चालूच जाल आमट टीक करता सगळेच नुस्त्या बद्दल सुद्धा ते उलयता जर ते बांगडो आणि ताल्ले आसा जाल्यार मिरसांग कितली कसली मिरसांग चड घालता हिंदू कितले घालता आणि क्रिश्चन किती घाल किते घालता ते इतली बारकायेन अभ्यास केल्लो असा तिथं तिणे आणि सगळे जण सायंटिस्ट झाले सुद्धा सायंटिफिक पेपर बरयता तो सायन्साचे व्हडले व्हडले जार्गन्स घालून बरयता ते पण ह्या विषयाचे एक बारीक सुटसुटीत कॉमन मनशाक समजता या भाषेन बरोवन आणि आपलो विचार आपले हे तुमच्या मुखार दोरपाचो एक बरोसो यत्न तिणे केल्लो असा म्हाका दिसता हे पुस्तक तुम्ही बेटे घेऊन शेल्फार दोवरच्या परस तुमच्या सकले जनरेशनाक फावल्या वेळाचेर बायगो वाच गो हे किती असा ते हातून किती बरयला ते वाच म्हणा तिका एक जर्नी मेळटली फाटले पाचशे वर्सांचे आम्ही कसे जेवणाचे आमच्या पोटा बद्दल आमचे पळ खाण जेवण कसे चेंज केला 
पिझ्झा बिझा सगळं मेळटाल तुमका आय हेच्या पुढे काय त्याच्या परत पास्ट जातले बर्गर जातले सगळे जातले पण आय एक्सपेक्ट दॅट कितले जण रुचीन सांगणार नाही किती खावपास वता ते शी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द मायग्रेशन ऑफ द फूड ऑल्सो शी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट काफ्रियाल द झणझणीत तिकट सांग काफ्रियाल म्हणतात शी इज शी इज डॉक्युमेंटेड सेईंग दॅट इट इज कम डाऊन फ्रॉम आफ्रिका कालदीन एनॉल ऑल दी शी इज दॅट इज इट इज कम डाऊन फ्रॉम मलाक्का इन दॅट साईड इस्टर्न साऊथ इस्ट एरिया सो हाव फूड चेंजीस विथ द पोर्च्युगीज एज वेल एज अन गोवा हिंदू म्हणटा हिंदूची जेवणा जी आशिल्ली वरण हे ते बरोबर आसा सगळी साग बीन बरोबर आसा पण ते तातून सुद्धा आमाडो आमच्या आयलोच बट आमाडो इज नॉट अ गोवन फाटल्या काळातले ना पण दॅट फ्रूट एट द व्हेजिटेबल्स विच वे इंट्रोड्यूस इन गोवा नाव दे आर पार्ट अँड पार्सल ऑफ आर क्युझिन असे खूपशे म्हज्या बायलेक धरून हा दुसऱ्यांच्या बायलांच्या बद्दल सांगू शकता आयज ते जर म्हणपास जे शाकोती कर म्हणल्या ते सुटसुटीत कार्माचे ना कोस्ताचे रेडीमेड मसालो हरतले करतले अग्री विथ मी यू शुड यू शुड अग्री विथ दिस दिस इज अ सिंपल वेज ना तीच जर माझी आवय आशिल्ली ना माझी माय आसली जर ती म्हणटली ना बाबा चार वेलची घे चार हे घे दालचिनी घे हे घर सगळे घर ते रेडीमेड घराकडे करतात आरोस करपची पद्धत जी आता वेगळी आय डोंट नो दिस इज अ राईट वर्ड मॅम ते आरोस आरोस करपची पद्धत झाली आरोस म्हणल्यार जे हिंदू जाता तांकां दिसतले ते पुलाव आमच्या भितरले पुलाव जाऊ तो मसाले भात असो पण ती पद्धत पद्धत वेगळी असा तांच्या हितून वेगळी सादी सँडविचाची चटणी सुद्धा करपची सगळे तेच इनग्रिडियंट असा नाल्लय सोयीस वापरता मिरसांगत वापरता पुदिनात वापरता सगळे आमची चटणी करपची ग्रीन सँडविच चटणी ती कॅथलिक्स कशी करता आणि हिंदूच कितें करता कितलेशे डिफरन्सिएशन असा बारीक गजाल ती ही बारकाय डॉक्टर बिवलान बारीकसाण केलेली असा आणि हे वाजत तुम्ही गेलो कित्याक लागून वाचपा जाय वाचात आणि दुसऱ्यांक सांगात जाता जे डॉक्टर बिवला एक रिक्वेस्ट करतो आज कालच्या भुरग्यांक न्ही पुस्तक वाचप घेऊपा जे न्ही देतात पुस्तक वाचपा घेतल्या सगळ्यांक न्ही देतात आज काल दे आर व्हेरी हायटेक इद इट इज शुड बी इन अ किंडल ऑर अ वॉइस मॉड्युलन पुस्तक जर असा जे इट बिकम्स व्हेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ते कानात गुड्डे घालून तांकां ते ऐकोपास बरे दिसतात रादर दॅन हे वाचपा सो ह्या हितून जर असा इवन शी इज स्पेसिफिकली टॉकिंग अबाउट रेशियन मसाला ऑल्सो इनफॅक्ट यु नो लेट मी कन्व्हेन्स कन्फेस ऑल्सो यर ऑर शी आय एम नॉट अ गुड रिडर हा केन्ना माझं असे वाचपी न्ही पण दोन दिसा पहिली ते आयले म्हणपाले असे असे असा तुका उलवपास जाय हेच्या विषय हा ते वाचपास बसलो एक पान करता दोन पान करता एका झटक्यान पन्नास पानं वाचली आणि दुसरो लॉट हांवेन रातचो घेऊन बसलो असे रातची अडेज झाली तरी मला न्हीद पडना हा वाचत 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 केलो हा चित्तालो की हा किती उलयतलो म्हणून आता म्हज्या परस सिनियर अँड एक्सपिरियन्स जे आसा ते उलयतले त्या विषयाचे पण माझ्या कडे किती असतले उलवपा खातीर म्हजे कडे एकच असतले उलवपा खातीर की हांगा जी लोक जे बसलेले असा तांकां एक उलो मारून हे करपा कळकळीची विनंती असतली पुस्तकां बारीक एकदा वचात ते हे सोप्यांनी ए सी ऑफिसान बसून ते बरोवप सोपें तळागाळान प्रत्येक घरान वचून रांची कोडीन त्या जाणटेल्या वांगडा बसून ते जाणटेली वांगडा बसून संस्कृताय समजून घेवप आणि त्या कसा गावकार असा तो आपल्या पद्धतीन सांग आमगे त्या जाणा हे असे करून ते बरे सांगत रावतो पण ती शी हॅस टू अंडरस्टँड द कन्सेप्ट कन्सेप्च्युलाइज द थिंग वॉट इज दॅट टू नो दॅट पर्टिक्युलर वॉट आर द इनग्रिडियंट्स अँड दॅन डॉक्युमेंट इट अँड दॅन यू प्रेझेंट इट इन अ मोस्ट सिम्पलेस्ट वे विथ इट विदाउट एनी कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज दॅट इज ऑल्सो एन आर्ट ओ दॅट अँड शी हॅज डन इट परफेक्टली इन द पहिल्या बुकाने केलं ना ह्या बुकान ताच्या परस चढ केलेले असा सो म्हणजे एक मागणे असताले की तुम्ही ते पुस्तक वाचात समजून घ्या तुम्ही समजले पण तुमकां एक दिसतले अरे हे आमच्या घरातल्यान मरे हे सगळं अशे अशेच आसा मरे आमचे हे तुमच्या फुडल्या येणाऱ्या जण यंगर जनरेशनाक तुमकां ती इन्फॉर्मेशन पास करपा मेळटले आयज आम्ही डिस्कशन घरान पेपरार जगा वेल्या पॉलिटिक्साचे करताले युक्रेन वॉराचे करताले बिल आमचे बायडनाच्या बद्दल त्याच्या हेच्या बद्दल सगळे करताले पण आमच्या घरांतले आमच्या संस्कृतायचे आमच्या कल्चरल हेरिटेजाचे आम्ही थोडे कमीतले कमीत भासाभास करतो आमच्या फॅमिलीन आयज मोबायलान असे करून दवरला की आम्ही हे मोबायल घेऊन तासून तास बसून आम्ही पळ त्याच्यावर लक्ष केंद्रित करू शकता पण डायनिंग टेबलाचेर आपल्या भुरग्यां कडेन आपल्या बायले कडेन खंयच्या एका कॉमन विषयाचे उलोवपास आम्ही पावले ना 
and Pawana. You will agree with me this, on this thing. With these few words, I thank you Dr. Beulah and the Pereira family for uh, inviting me for this thing and to share my simple thoughts over here which I felt that I should that it is something which a rich heritage which we need to preserve. Ashani ke rastar activist island the heritage preserve at learning. Preservation of heritage, cultural, <coughs> environmental, whatever thing comes up, it should starts with me. Dusra and Sangla Opera and Apun Zago Zatan Magarasta Radati Zopaji Garazna Makata Dista Zalar, I should know that this is something I should take it with me and I should preserve it for my posterity of my future generations. As I am Jekin and Bokta, good environment, Bare Ware, his Sasai Jiburi Asa Goichi, Sagrajami Bokta, it is not with our forefathers who have kept it. It is what we have leaned it from our future generation. Amche grandchild, great grandchildren, Tanchi Ami Aiz Ami Dorta. Amche Zab Zab Saldar Ki Astali Ki Ti Samadun Dor Pazai. Fuck the same Ra Sarke Dorlan Poiso Ani Bank Balance Ani Properties Kurun Dor Apni. Cultural heritage. This is one journey which we need to really need to keep out further than. She's talking about murder. Matija. Very lot. But she has talked, spoken about every every facets of this particular food journey. She has not crossed the boundaries for any extent. But she has spoken a lot on that particular thing. With these few words, thank you very much. Thank you for your presence. Thank you. thank you so much, Dr. Bhula, for your encouraging and very interesting take on the book. At this auspicious moment, I now invite Dr. Bula to talk to us about her book. A very good evening, everyone. I think there's nothing more remaining to speak because if I give out the little things that are <coughs> remaining, I think people will not have any interest in the book. <laughs> so before I begin, I extend my wholehearted gratitude to everyone present here for answering my invitation and for being present for the launch of my book. It's, a, it's wonderful to see all of you and the enthusiastic faces and I'm actually uh, thanking God for keeping and bringing us here because many people from yesterday have called me and told me they are not well. Many of them are sick, having fever, etc. So I'm thanking God for getting all of us here. Um, there are some questions which I just want to speak or the questions that I have addressed in this book. Is food purely a physiological requirement for survival? Or does it have a bigger role to play? How does it influence our social lives? What role does it play in numerous festivals of various communities? Is it inherently linked to our social identities and background? In what way do religious customs and rituals affect our food intake? So these are some of the main questions which I have addressed in my book titled Food and Identity, A Journey of Goa's Food Customs. This is a sociological endeavor and delves into questions centered on sociological aspects of the Goan community. When I was pursuing my doctoral thesis, my fieldwork, something interesting caught my attention that was on socio-cultural aspects of alcohol consumption in the Goan society. When I visited a household to interact with members of a community, I was served with various snacks. The Hindus served ladus, chaklis or shira and tea. While in the Catholic houses, I was offered biscuits, cake with tea or coffee. So Hindu families often ventured information about their Catholic friends and said that the Catholics appreciated 
Sonia rose, Neorios and Laddos prepared by them. Today also you must have observed that uh, the Goan sweets which I have served, we have Laddos and Shankar Padi. So, you know, this is what like we find uh, in a Hindu family when they, you know, when you visit them and they serve you with the snacks. Also, I found the terminology associated with food fascinating. I realized that different terms were used by two communities to describe the same dishes. Hindu lunches contain tonaks. I don't know, many of our Catholics have not heard the word tonak or vegetable preparations, rose, human, while the Catholics call the same human preparation as kori or curry they called. So on that note, I would like to mention a very interesting incident. A few days back, a Catholic friend visited us and I happened to show him my book. So when he opened it and started reading, he came across words like khat khate and actually he was struggling to read and say the word khat khat khate. <laughs> so, so, you know, like many of us, especially among the Catholics, they don't know what is this khatkade or mugang auntie. Even though we are sharing and we are living in Goa and we have, you know, we, we, we are in the same village. So I found it very fascinating when he was trying to pronounce this word and I was, then I explained to him and I told him, this is the vegetable stew. I don't know whether I should use it with all the uh, vegetables which are also exotic ones that are being used to make this. Sachin, what is that? True? Okay. <laughs> okay. So the difference between the food and the recipes of both the communities in Goa is very uh, fascinating and warrants attention as already uh, spoken by the speakers. We have a chief guest who said how I have very minutely spoken about things like when you make chutney, the chutney prepared by a Hindu is very different from the chutney prepared by a Catholic, even though the same ingredients are used. Similarly, we talk about the curry and we talk about the, 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 the chilies and the number of chilies that are used by the Catholics and the Hindus for the preparation of the chilies with different type of fish. So the different customs and traditions surrounding food also has made this study very interesting. So Hindus are preparing and offering food to their deities. And the food has to be prepared when they, follow, when they have to follow certain societal norms. Now here another very interesting example I would like to share with you. And that is long back, it was on the day of Ganesh Chaturthi, I visited one Hindu family and I entered their house and as the Catholics will agree, uh, I entered and I said, Happy Ganesh, I extended my uh, hand to wish and she told me, please don't come close to me, don't come in contact with me. I was a bit, you know, shocked and surprised, why did she say that to me when I am already invited for Ganesh? And she said, asa. So the Hindus will understand this word. So uh, I said, what is this anwale? Because I was still, you know, I had not started my uh, study and I was still observing and uh, trying to uh, note down some of the things like which were, I mean, happening. So I said, what is this anwale? Then the husband said, come sit. And then he explained to me all the things, how they have to prepare the food by observing so many societal norms, where they have to dress, have bath, use proper, you know, like um, uh, clean clothes, etc. And uh, it is only after the food is cooked and offered to the deities, then the people in the house uh, will get a chance to eat. Even if you are very hungry, you will not get anything that is cooked at that time. So, another incident which I would like to share with you during my uh, study what happened was uh, this was when I was when I had gone to observe the preparation of this Mahaprasad in the Hindu temple as I had as I was going near the kitchen I the kitchen that was preparing Mahaprasad 
I saw um, this pumpkins that were smashed on the floor. So I began speculating, wondering whether some fight had occurred over there. And I asked one of the kitchen helpers what had happened to the pumpkins. And the helper told me that we don't cut these pumpkins, but we need to smash them or crash them. So that was something, again, it striked me and I said, okay, this is something I need to learn. And when I started asking this, they also told me about the ash code. I think uh, our uh, uh, invited speaker Rajeshri spoke about it, about the ash code, how the ash code also is not cut by the females or the uh, lady in the house. And it has to be cut by observing certain rules. So um, I tried to go more in detail about it, um, about this, the story of the pumpkin and also the ash gourd, which people normally don't grow in their house, but if they get a plant, then they don't mind taking care of it. And if the plant grows on its own, then again, they don't mind taking care of it. So these are many things that are uh, observed by the people. So food is just not food that we eat. Food is, when we eat, we also follow number of societal rules, societal norms, and so it is just not the physiological uh, aspect uh, where, you know, we can speak about food. So on that note, I'm not speaking more. There are so many experiences. I would even like to share one experience, which, uh, 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 you know, I actually, uh, when we had gone to Scotland um, with our friends, we were offered the black pudding and uh, I was relishing it. And as we were talking, I asked her, what is it made up of and when she told me what it is made up of half the way i did not know whether i should continue eating or not because she told me that was of pork blood which was smoked and all the other details so friends food is also something in which we are socialized with the way we are you know, like the way we are brought up in a family, the type of food we get introduced to, the type of food that we are uh, making it part of our life and part of our taste. So when we talk about fish curry rice, fish curry rice is relished by most, most of us. People cannot do without it. But these youngsters, if we talk today, if you talk about them today, they're not very much interested in the fish curry rice. They may be eating the fish curry rice. Some of them, you know, maybe because the family is preparing, but mostly they are no longer into the concept of eating that fish curry rice. This is what my findings have shown me. So on that note, let me wind up. I wish to thank all of you once again. You have contributed to the success of my book launch. Firstly, I would like to thank Mr. Anand Jadav, who is one of the most helpful people I know. Despite his busy schedule and commitments, he readily expect, accepted my invite to be the chief guest. Also, Mr. Jadav has contributed immensely to the publication of my book. He always answered my queries and helped me with my difficulties. His feedback and suggestions have definitely improved the contents of my book. Thank you, sir, for everything and looking forward to your support for my next book, which is already being discussed. <laughs> a hearty thank you to Dr. Fatima Gracious. She has been a great source of inspiration to me with a vast pool of work and knowledge. I wholeheartedly appreciate the humble person she is. I had to pick up the phone just once and she was willingly accepting on she willingly accepted my request. Thank you very much ma'am for introducing my book so wonderfully. I extend my deep gratitude to my close friend and colleague associate professor Rajishri Sale. She was present for the launch of my first book and has done a brilliant job yet again with a beautiful introduction to food and identity. Thank you once again, Rajeshri. I thank everyone present here for making this book launch a great success once again, especially 
to all the lecturers from different colleges i am not in a position to take the names but we have evelyn and um, sachin and uh, all of you please i'm sorry i don't know where who's sitting so thank you once again all of you for making it a big success a big thank you dina my ex colleague i don't know where she is for helping me out mini soraya for all your help today a big thank you to magna and albert de costa from shandor for preparing all the traditional sweets for us also a big thank you for raj lakshmi who has prepared the laddus and shankar pade so now you can know that i will not be telling any of my catholic friend or known person to make the laddus and shankar pade so shankar pade laddu chaklis will be prepared only by raj lakshmi or maybe sapna okay so be last a big thank you goes to stessa for comparing and sasha for all the help and my husband savio i should not be missing <laughs> for sponsoring this yeah. whole event <laughs> yeah but i need to acknowledge that okay anyway thank you once again and also acknowledging um, our judge sainora for giving me time and all of you i cannot pick all the names but please understand i thank you all and even those who had the wish to come but could not make it because many of them are not well thank you once again thank you dr bula for taking us through this journey of writing the book a lot of people have contributed towards this book and its launch and the author would like to take this opportunity to thank them all with floral tokens as she has mentioned many of them are uh, could not join us here today but for those who are here uh, i would like you all to please come up to the days and accept the flowers when i call out your names firstly i would like to invite to the stage Ms. Rajlakshmi Balikar from Bali, who dedicated many days towards explaining the intricacies of various Hindu food recipes as well as the traditions associated with the food. Please put your hands together for her. I call upon Ms. Sapna Korgaonkar from Margao for her significant contribution in enlightening the author about varied food practices in Goa. I would also like to call Judge Sainora for all her help. Please come ahead. The author humbly thanks Mr. Bhat Manoj Bharve from Bali and teacher Vaman and Chaya Khande Parker from Shiroda. Uh, they were not able to make it uh, for today's function but uh, she would like to express her gratitude to them as well we have now come to the end of today's event uh, audience on the audience members who would like to read and explore goan cuisine and identity through food and identity a journey of goa's food customs can purchase copies of the book signed by the author which will be made available at a discounted a rate by the publisher to honor today's occasion once again thank you all for your presence in making this event a grand success have a great day ahead thank you <clears throat>